Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Becca. I'm a mom to three boys and a military spouse. And today we are doing a productive, get it all done day in the life of a mom of three. If you're new, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join the family. I am going on a trip this weekend. It's a girl's trip. I'm meeting up with another friend and I have about a million and one things that I need to do before I go. I'm trying to get everything prepared, everything done, so that Chris doesn't have to worry about anything while I'm gone. He's gonna have the kids and all of that, so kinda just wanna make it as easy as possible for him while I'm gone. So we have a bunch of stuff to get done today. Um, we are gonna do some grocery shopping. I have some laundry in the wash right now that I need to, need to switch. I need to take the sheets off my bed and wash the sheets. I need to go grocery shopping. I need to get dog food. Um, and I need to like clean up and prepare and all of that stuff. So we just got a lot of stuff to get done today. A lot of goals on the list and we're going to do them together so that hopefully this can be really productive and motivating for you. Um, but yeah, so right now we're going to get the sheets in the wash and then go to the grocery store and get the groceries oh, and get the dog food. Go to the, go get dog food, go to the grocery store. Those are the two things we really need to like get done today and that's what we're gonna work on now. So I think Grayson is the only one who actually wants to come with me to go do these things. So me and Grayson, I guess we'll make a, a time of it together. But with that being said, let's get these sheets in the wash. Okay, just got back at the house and I went and picked up dog food and then was like, there's no way, there's not enough time for me to go get all the groceries, get them back, show you guys what I got too, cause that takes time. And then to go to physical therapy. So I've got to go to physical therapy. And then after that, I'm gonna go grocery shopping. So let's go to physical therapy get that done and out of the way and then I'll get back and get everything I need done. Also, I'm gonna need an energy drink after physical therapy because it always exhausts me at work out there. So it always makes me tired. So get an energy drink, go ahead to the grocery store. Hopefully that should be a quick trip. Shouldn't take too long, especially if I go by myself. Um, finish up laundry because that load ended up on the bed. So now I've got to put that laundry away, fold that one, fold the one in the dryer, switch the sheets. It's just a crazy day and I'm just literally on these days when there's a lot on my plate I just do what I can so I'm just gonna continue on to the next step and do what I can at the end of the day whatever gets done gets done like whatever doesn't it's okay there's tomorrow so I do have my trip this weekend so I do have to finish things somewhat relatively within the next two days but we'll get there one way or another so I just finished up at physical therapy and I grabbed some McDonald's. Don't worry, I'm like in my neighborhood, so I'm not like, and I'm not looking at the camera. I'm driving my car, paying attention to the road. But yeah, I just finished up at physical therapy. I um, picked up some McDonald's because I need something quick. 
and I am going to go home, eat really quick, and then head out and go grocery shopping. The kids needed dinner too. And I really need to get all this stuff done. I also need to switch the laundry, that's right. To switch the laundry too. But yeah, I'm starving and I don't like going grocery shopping when I'm hungry because, you know, nobody wants to go grocery shopping when they're hungry because then you buy a bunch of junk you don't need. By the way, I switched my shirt because I really didn't like the way the other one fit me and made me feel about myself. So I went ahead and switched the shirt. So here we are. Now we are going to go eat our dinner, go grocery shopping, and change the laundry. Don't let me forget, I gotta change the laundry. Alright guys, the lighting is really awkward and weird, but it's cool. We're going to run with it. I just finished up at the grocery store and now we're going to go home and actually I'm going to grab dinner for Chris because I grabbed me and the kids dinner earlier because he doesn't really like McDonald's. So I told him I would get him something while I'm out on this side of town. So I'm going to grab him something and then we're going to go home and I will show you guys everything I got at the grocery store. Don't judge me. It was all garbage and like stuff I know the kids will love just because I know I'm going to be out of town for a few days and I feel bad because they're going to miss me and everything like that. So I really just wanted to get them a lot of things that I knew they would enjoy and like make it easier for Chris too. So he's not like fighting them nonstop on, you know, everything. And we already have a lot of like dinner foods, like we have a lot of frozen meats and stuff. So we're good on that um but yeah so let's go home and i will go over this grocery haul We're back home and I'm about to show you what we got for groceries and then put all of the groceries away but I need to switch the laundry because the sheets are in the wash and I need to get them in the dryer but I also need the basket which is down here on the floor with stuff in it so we're gonna empty that out first <sighs> I feel like I have a million and one things to do and not enough time to do it but I feel like that's also just life in general especially mom life so we're just gonna take it one step at a time but take care of these clothes switch laundry show you the groceries we got and then put it all away So I know I've said this before, but one of the reasons why we love this wash cleaning machine is because it has this tank in here. It's a smart dispense, fill up to 50 ounces of detergent. And uh, we just love it because literally it just saves so much time and energy and having to do detergent. I don't have to fill this up with detergent every single time I do a load of laundry. I have it on auto, so it just senses by the weight how much it needs. Um, 
or you can set it however you want to have more to have less um, but yeah it just makes life a lot easier it's one of the reasons why like I said I love this washer we legit were out this was the very last of the detergent I usually don't get this low but I really needed to buy some more so I bought some more today I do the tide free and gentle I believe it's called because I have super sensitive hyperallergenic skin so I can't really do fragrances it really irritates my skin but yeah so I'm gonna fill this up really quick um, I don't have any more laundry to do but I do need to fill this back up so that when the kids and Chris go to use it um, it's all ready for them to go All right, let's quickly go through everything that I got at the grocery store. Like I said, it was pretty simple, just picking up some odds and ends for while I'll be gone for Chris and the kids. But yeah, let's go through that real quick. Ketchup, mayonnaise, cranberry grape juice, Arizona tea, a box of chips, Pop-Tarts, juice boxes, mini like cherry snack things, rock stars, peanut butter bars, mac and cheese, creamer, Swiss rolls, chocolate chip muffins, cinnamon life cereal, some chicken ramen, fudge m and sandwich meat, bread, goldfish, oatmeal cream pies, frozen pizza. <coughs> I got these zebra cakes. And then I also saw these zebra rolls, fruit snacks, brownie muffins, beans. Food Line now has my energy drinks. So I got two energy drinks, some Ritz sour cream and onion crackers, chip things, smart food, all right, that's everything. Now we are going to put all of this junk away and then I have to go upstairs and fold a bunch of laundry. So let's go do that. kitchen is cleaned up as cleaned up as it's gonna get tonight I'm gonna do a lot more cleaning tomorrow not on camera before like while in between packing and stuff just to like prepare and get the house cleaned up before I leave um, but now the dryer is done sheets are dry I have this load of laundry I have to fold along with the load of laundry that's on my bed I need to make my bed so we're gonna work on doing those things which sounds like a lot for this late in the day, but you know what? We're just gonna get it done because I'll feel a lot better once it's done. So let's go make the bed.
All right, everyone, I'm going to cut this short here. I'm not sure how much footage I have or how long this will be, but I think that's all I'm gonna do for today. I was gonna fold the boys' laundry, but I'm just gonna do it tomorrow. I'm tired and I'm ready for bed. I have a lot of cleaning up to do. Um, tomorrow is my last day before I leave for, um, my forehead is like super shiny, I don't know why, but tomorrow is my last day home before I leave for my girls trip this weekend. I'm so excited, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna spend tomorrow editing this video. So this video will be live by the time you see this video, it'll be Saturday and I will be on my girls trip. If you want to see more like in the moment stuff, go ahead and follow me on Instagram um, and you'll see more of like what's going on, what we're doing, who I'm with and all of that. So yeah, go follow me on Instagram at Becca Berry and yeah, I'm super excited. I cannot wait, it's gonna be a blast. Um, but tomorrow is gonna just be for packing. Um, I'm really gonna try and like try on outfits before I go to see like, you know, what works well together and what fits well together and kind of come up with outfits that way so I don't have to pack as much. But I'm going to work on getting the house, you know, cleaned up. I'm not gonna really like clean clean because when I come back, I'm going to film a cleaning video and do more deep cleaning. Uh, but just get it like cleaned up for the boys, you know, which they're boys so they don't Doesn't need to be spotless But just make sure they have like all the dishes they need and stuff and they're ready to start off with kind of a blank slate You know kind of like how I would do at the end of every night before I go to bed type of thing Which the house is trash right now. So I'm gonna pick up tomorrow Colby was super helpful today and while I was uh, Grocery shopping he went ahead and picked up all the toys upstairs and downstairs um and yeah so tomorrow i just have a few dishes to do and like wipe down countertops and like you know the daily stuff and to pack and edit this vlog so i really want to get this posted so i don't even have to worry about doing anything with it it'll be ready to go for saturday and that will make my plate a lot easier so yeah i'm so excited like this trip has been planned for so long and we me and my friend have been talking about it for so long that it's like i can't really believe it's even here but i'm so excited like i just cannot wait and it's kind of a surprise who's going with me some of you will know her some of you may not but yeah so i'm just super excited i cannot wait like it's gonna be a blast so fingers crossed that everything goes as planned because I know flights right now are kind of like touch and go situations I've heard about a lot of people with their flights getting canceled because there's not like enough pilots or like you know last minute stuff like that so I'm really hoping I don't have any issues with stuff like that uh there is a storm coming in the area where I will be so I'm hoping that's not really an issue too so we just won't really know until the day of and yeah but I'm so excited. I hope everything works out because I'm just really excited to take a few days and do something a little different and hang out with a friend and just relax. It'll be nice. It'll be a really nice like break and get away and I'll come back refreshed and feeling good. So everybody deserves that sometimes regardless if you have kids or a full-time job or it doesn't matter who you are or what you have going on. Everybody everybody deserves a break sometimes and to get away and have some time with themselves. Regardless of what that looks like for them. For me, this is what it looks like. Um, but whatever gives you that solitude, you always deserve it. And don't forget that. And don't be jaded by what other people do or what other people think because not everybody would agree with me, you know, taking a few days out and spending money on just me instead of my whole family or, you know, going away from my family. Not everybody agrees with that. And that's okay because everybody can do whatever works for them. Uh, but don't ever feel like you don't deserve that because of maybe what society tells you or because of what people around you tell you or whatever. Trust me. Everybody deserves a break, no matter who you are or what your situation is. Everybody deserves a break and doing whatever it is during that break that brings you peace and makes you happy and makes you feel refreshed and renewed. I mean, heck, eat, pray, love. You know? On that note, 
I am going to start watching this documentary that I heard about. Um, I actually saw it on like an Instagram ad. It's like 2020 and it's about, um, I'm not going to say too much because, you know, some people don't like true crime and stuff, but it's a true crime thing. Um, it's a crazy true crime story that I've stumbled across throughout the years. It's from like the seventies and it happened in Oklahoma and it's incredibly heart wrenching and sad, but it's also like wild because the case has not been solved. So it's like just, it's crazy, but 2020 came out with a new, um, like special on it. And I'm going to see if I'm able to like access that and watch it. And if so, I'm going to hang out down here for a little bit, unwind and watch it and then go to bed and shower and go to bed, you know, but yeah, um, it'll be nice to shower and go to sleep in my clean sheets. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and join the family. My next vlog will be on Wednesday and that will be my travel vlog. So super excited to film that and share it with you. But yeah, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and thank you so much for all your love and support as always. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.